as you guys can see, this is no joke. <laughs> the amount of stuff we have for the F30 is absolutely crazy. But honestly, the only thing I can really say is shout out to Keys Motorsports for partnering up on this build. Like, honestly, I really want to do kind of like a fun build like this. It's been a minute. A lot of like the M3 builds and a lot of like the higher end kind of builds, um, the parts are very, very, very expensive. All of this stuff is less than like a couple panels on an M3. So uh, yeah, I'm just super, super, super happy that we're able to do so much to a car and truly transform this F30. It's gonna look so much better. And at the same time, stuff I didn't actually know Keys Motorsports had as well it's actually some maintenance items as well. So some upgraded maintenance, um, some ignition coils. So we got some dining ignition coils. These are super sick. So I'm super happy to upgrade with these guys. We got some spark plugs right over there as well. And then we also have an upgraded, uh, I believe this is an aluminum. Um, we'll get into what that is exactly in a little bit here. Uh, but like definitely an upgraded transmission pan. We got the transmission gaskets, the transmission filters. Look how cool this setup is. So we're gonna be trying to knock out the maintenance first thing because honestly that stuff is not the funnest thing, but maintenance before mods. So we're definitely gonna be knocking out that first right there. But we also got right over here is a paint caliper kit. So we actually be painting our caliper. This is actually a kit that Keys Motorsports sell that makes it super easy to paint your caliper. You don't even need to cover up anything because this is a brush on type. This is actually a spray on type. So you don't actually have to spray our control arms or you have to cover absolutely everything. It takes such a long time to prep everything. Um, so this kit's super sick. Again, everything here is from Keys Motorsports. We got the NY Prime box right over here for Apple CarPlay. You guys already know I got to add Apple CarPlay. I have it in every single one of my cars and it's a must for the F30. We got a carbon fiber spoiler a carbon fiber diffuser with a dual exit exhaust we're gonna be retrofitting the afe exhaust onto the f30 as well this is a 335i exhaust setup so you're gonna have dual exits it's gonna look so much better um we got these beautiful tips as well again huge special shout out to keys motorsports for partnering up for this build i'm super excited to throw on all this good stuff we also got the strut brace right over there we got some gts smoked out taillights i normally go with the red version but because of the wrap they're going to be going with on this build i did want to go with these ones just because i think it'll look a lot slicker it's gonna look a lot nicer and of course, we got to think about safety as well. This is the Keys Motorsport fire extinguisher kit that mounts right underneath the passenger seat. And it makes it super easy that in case of any small fire, you can easily pull this out, pop both sides, bottom of the bang, you got a fire extinguisher right at your disposal. So yeah, so how to get one of these as well. We got some black kidney grills, M3 style fenders, um, M Sport side skirts, M Sport front bumper, M Sport rear bumper. And then we actually have a couple more things coming in for the F30 as well. But I, I feel like, you know, to start off things, this is pretty sick. <laughs> they literally sell everything from mods to retrofits to maintenance, all that good stuff. Keys Motorsports, link down below. The next couple of videos is gonna be a true transformation of this F30. And like I said, I'm gonna be wrapping it as well. So it's gonna look super sick by the time we're done with it. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the maintenance first because uh, maintenance, it's not the funnest thing, but we don't, wanna, we don't wanna do maintenance in the end. We wanna enjoy the car in the end. So let's do the maintenance first so that can get that out of the way. So first things first, let's knock out something that's kinda easy. We got spark plugs and dining ignition coils because this is a four cylinder we only got four of each one of those and uh, this should be very easy to install I'm really hoping I don't have to, have to remove the cowl I'll make life so much easier let's just go ahead and see if we have to remove it or not So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and start removing the spark plugs, but what I like to do is as soon as I get the old spark plug out, I like to put the new spark plug right in right after, just because I don't want anything else to go inside of the engine, because sometimes people drop screws and stuff like that. Then you're pretty much stuck with a head gasket job. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove spark plugs, put them back in. We got the new ones right here from Keys Motorsports. Let's go ahead and slap these bad boys in. So we just got our first brand new spark plug in there. Um, I am noticing that we got a lot of a little buildup right over here. I didn't notice that with all this stuff on top of it. So we do need to do a valve cover here um, pretty soon. I don't actually have any valve cover gaskets on me. If I order one right now, it's not gonna be in today's video, unfortunately, but I mean, we have a whole build series going on. So it's definitely gonna be in the build series, um, you know, in a future video. I really wanna get back to uploading every other day, especially with this car. We got the E91 almost gonna be assorted, whether we wrap it or paint it. I'm most likely leaning towards wrap because again, uh, of the car in the backyard and the business that's getting started up but yeah i definitely do valve cover gaskets and i definitely want to do a timing chain so yeah, i'll keep you all posted on that in the meantime let's just continue to knock out those spark plugs and hopefully we can get to that last one without you having to remove the cowl because that just makes life a whole lot easier I 
Also, if you guys are wondering what tool I am using to get the spark plugs out, it is completely magnetic. Actually, this entire tool is one piece. Um, it is actually Keys Motorsports as well. They're literally the one-stop shop for everything. They got your maintenance, they got your mods. Just check out Keys Motorsports, link down below. And now it's time for these beautiful, beautiful diamond ignition coils. And just like that guys, ignition coil, spark plugs, check and check. So unfortunately I just realized when I was about to do the transmission panel, first off, I don't really want to do it, but <laughs> it's one of those things that you definitely should do. Maintenance is one of those things that's like, oh, it sucks, it's disgusting, it's dirty, there's fluids and all this stuff. But end of the day, end of the day, doing these kinds of things will allow you to run your car, enjoy it, drive it, modify it, do all that good stuff. So I'm actually doing this thing um, to the transmission as well because um, if we're gonna be putting an exhaust on it and stepping on it and beating on it when it has 180,000 miles, we definitely don't wanna mess up that transmission. So that being said, I'm gonna be waiting on some transmission fluids. I need to order some transmission fluids. Um, I didn't really think this through. I ordered a pan, but I didn't get the fluids. I do have like two bottles, but I need like six bottles in total. So I need to place an order on four more bottles. We'll do that in another episode as well. Well, in the meantime, again, spark bugs and initial calls. What else should we do in today's video? What to choose? What to choose? <laughs> There's so much things here to choose. I think the next thing I want to go ahead and install Keys Motorsports Fire Extinguisher Kit right here. So, uh, yeah, it should be a pretty easy install. Passenger seat, bada bing, bada bang. Let's get it done. And that right there is our second mod, a safety mod, the carbon fiber keys bar with the fire extinguisher right there. I like how it actually has some carbon fiber and the red matches with the red right over here. I was gonna swap out that trim with some carbon fiber trim, but honestly guys, I'm really digging this trim. All right, we got done with some of the maintenance. We got done with, uh, you know, some safety stuff, but now we gotta do the thing that I love most about modifying cars. Not only modifying it, but the thing I love in all my cars, Apple CarPlay. Actually, I opted for the backup camera as well. I hope it is in here. So this car doesn't have any options unfortunately other than keyless entry which is nice it has keyless entry and it has a sport line package so you got the sport seats um and it also has the bigger screen so it has like those kind of options it actually has heated seats never mind never mind it has some options <laughs> and it has the black headliner and all that other good stuff so actually this is pretty well spec for what i like but unfortunately there's no sensors on here there's no backup camera there's no apple carplay and as you guys know that is probably one of the first things i did on the conversions on the e91 m3 that car is still not 100 percent legal yet and i already added apple carplay to that bad boy the i3 has apple carplay my truck has apple carplay the super has apple carplay um so i just feel like i have to add apple carplay and just a little note uh, for those of you guys who want to add backup cameras to your car um i noticed that if you try to uh, if you try to install an oem backup camera to your f30 or e90 or whatever um without actually getting the apple carplay box it's actually very difficult and get very expensive um mainly because uh you need the oem wiring then you need like the oem modules and you need to oem a bunch of stuff and uh, it gets really messy too like it's a lot of wiring needed it's not just the camera and you wire it straight to the unit i wish it was that simple um so by getting apple carplay which i absolutely love um you can actually add the backup camera to this and make it a full complete unit and it works all with one it makes it super easy to do the only drawback to this modification is that it's going to take some time to install so without further ado nor stop talking let's go ahead and get this bad boy in So what I like to do first is not actually install the Apple CarPlay, but I have a backup camera. The first thing I like to do is actually install the backup camera, mainly because I want to get all the wires to the front before disassembling things, and then I can pretty much start routing all the wires and just sit up there and just get everything done. So yeah, let's go ahead and get the camera in first. As you guys can see, this is an OEM finish. This is where the camera is supposed to be, and this is the camera you're getting with this kit. So yeah, it's gonna look OEM. It's gonna work like OEM. I'm gonna love this thing.
Guys, this is the first car I've ever taken apart and it's so clean under everything. Like, look, <laughs> it's not a single piece of dust. I don't know if this guy was very, very, very clean, the person I bought it from, or he just had it really professionally detailed. Like, this thing looks so good. But anyways, now that we got everything out, the reason why I had to remove the glove box on this car, um, the first thing you should remove is actually this section over here. If you see that your unit is like the half unit, um, then honestly, you can put the MMI box right underneath it. But because mine's the full unit, there's no other space to put the unit there. So what I'm going to actually do is once I actually fully wire up the end of my prime, I'm actually going to put it right over here in this cubby. And that's a perfect cubby um, to where I can wire in between there, here, and it's all gravy in the Navy. So without further ado, there's a lot more wiring I need to do. Let me go ahead and get to it and uh, we'll get this thing hopefully started. And guys, the interior is finally put together. We got the fire extinguisher just chilling like a villain right there. And if you go ahead and start up the car, um, bada bing, bada bing. I already connected my phone, so I know the Apple CarPlay works. I haven't really tested uh, the reverse camera yet, so we're about to test that out real quick. But anyways, holding down the menu button and bada bing, bada bang. That's what I'm talking about. And guys, I really can't stress it enough. I absolutely love Apple CarPlay. Not having it in one of my cars almost makes me feel like I don't even want to drive this car anymore. Like I use it all the time. And now if we actually put it into reverse, just like that, guys, we got a backup camera. Now, obviously it doesn't look like OEM. It's actually a lot wider too. But end of the day, you have a backup camera. It works great. And if you actually have sensors as well from the factory, you can actually use those as well with the backup camera. So that is super sick. But anyways, now I have a backup camera. It won't hit anything when I reverse. And uh, when I go ahead and put it in park, you have Apple CarPlay. And if you actually want to get out of Apple CarPlay, just hold the menu button and then you're back to the regular menu. So that is super sick. And there's not a single wire that's sticking out of anywhere. So it's a very clean setup. And honestly, guys, we have boxes of modifications we need to add to this car. Um, for one day, I think we got enough installed. We got the fire extinguisher installed. We got spark plugs, ignition coils. Um, actually, when I started it up the first time, I didn't show this on camera. It started misfiring and I was like, what is going on? Um, the spark plugs needed to be gapped. So um, if you guys order spark plugs that are not exactly for this car, like specific spec for this car. Um, I had to look it up this spec, which I think was like 0 0.032 for this car. And then I gapped them and now it's running perfectly, very smooth, which is ideal. So yeah, we got spark plugs, ignition coils, fire extinguisher, Apple CarPlay, backup camera. Hopefully in the next video, we're gonna start doing some of the panels. That is something I'm very stoked for. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash that like button. Before I actually end this video, I do wanna say that uh, thank you for everyone that actually commented what color we should actually wrap the E91 M3. Uh, long story short, uh, you guys were all over the place. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try to find the most uh, recommended colors and then put like a top three or something in, in, the, in the description of today's video. And then out of those three, let me know which one would you guys have on the E91 M3. So uh, yeah, that's going to have to conclude the video. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.